Welcome to second episode of What Would Ado Do? This week we're going to cover another interesting question, which is, is it possible to create film stock emulation LMTs when working in ACES CCT? So here we are. First, I'm just going to check the time inside an ACES CCT project. So in my project settings, I check that it's color science ACES CCT. I'm using version ACES 1.2. Um, I'm, I didn't put any input device transforms here in project settings. Um, and I'm using Rec 709 as an output. So this is pretty much standard. You know, I'm also going to change my, my lookup tables to be tetrahedral. Excellent. Okay, so I brought some footage in and what I just had to do for each of the clips is I had to assign its IDT. So in ACES input transform, I have selected it to be Alexa. Okay, so now I have straight away out of the box, nice looking, you know, Alexa in ACES CCT. And here at the end, I just put like a couple of test shots, you know, to see how and everything is being processed. Okay. So let's start. So you want to emulate um, a film stock, so to say. And and so, you know, naturally what you would try to do is you would go and say, open like a no, the right mouse click, say LATS. And there are LATS that come with DaVinci that emulate film. And they're called film looks. And I'm going to try to select this one, which is called Rec 709 Kodak 2383 D60. I like the D60 more. And as you can tell, it doesn't quite work. It makes my image very contrasty and very crunchy. And this is not really nowhere near to, you know, really what that film would look like. So we can tell that this approach is not going to work. Not for the moment, but this is a fix for it. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open another serial node. And in this serial node, I'm going to go and apply color space transform. And I'm going to say, hey, I'm going from ACES AP1 and ACES CCT, you know, which is what my project settings are. What this lookup table expects as an input is actually a color space, which is very close to a rec 709 and gamma, which is called Cineon Film Log. Okay, so now I have converted here into Cineon. Okay. Then I have my LUT, you know, which is my film LUT. And then I'm going to go and apply another color space transform. And here I'm going to say, well, you know, the output of this lookup table is Rec 709, it says on it, yeah. And it's using Gamma 2.4. And what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna say, okay, my output color space is going to be ACES AP1 color space and CCT. So now finally, like I actually got the correct image, right? Because what I did now is I adapted it here back to ACES CCT, right? So now I converted it in first node to what this lookup table expects as an input and let did the conversion. And then I, I took a converted signal and brought it back into ACES. And this is a nice and quick fix and free fix that you have, but you're probably going to find that it's not going to work very well, especially here. As you can see, I have this like a blue police lights that look a little bit funny. And that's the problem that anytime you actually try to go into like a very small color space, like we did here, you know, we had to convert it to 709 and then go back to white gamut, things happen and you don't really get exactly the correct result and we can see that as well if we apply it to like a, you know grayscale you know so let me just show you you know that there are actually potentially things that are getting clipped here in the highlight okay and also i'm just going to go and copy it onto my color you know generator so have a look how you know in my scopes i clearly have some parts that are clipping and, and as i said like you know it's 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 not the right approach to convert everything to very small color space even though we can trick da vinci to do this effect for us somewhere inside there are parts of this image that are getting damaged so there is a better and more elegant way how to do it. And I just want to show you how to do it properly. So I'm going to go and say version two. Um, I'm going to go and select color reset, uh, all grades and notes. 
Okay, and then I'm going to use for this, I'm afraid you're gonna need to use a plugin and this plugin is called Look Designer. And I'm just gonna go drop the Look Designer here. And what this plugin can do is it can actually create looks in any color spaces. So I'm gonna go and say ACCCT as input and ACCCT as output. So now my plugin is just completely neutral. You see, it's not affecting image in any way if I switch it on and off, yet it can do all sophisticated you know, film stock emulation in ACES, right? So I can then go here, let's say, to create that same look, I'm gonna say, you know, select print. I have several options, you know, I'm gonna use the 2383, a modern version. And then I'm also going to go and apply 2383 contrast to it, okay? And now I can also go to my post-processing and I can enable film print emulation that's gonna bring me closer to actual gamut and you check it out now. So now let's have a look at the shot. See, looking much better and you know, much cleaner. And then also let's do a test chart just to confirm that everything is working now better. And as you can tell, actually, you know, there is no clipping, you know, on the maximum is actually everything back to 1023. And here there is this toe, you know, that you get from Asus CCT as well. I'm just gonna do a little um, color test and as you can see, everything is looking pretty nice and neat and clean. And actually, you know, uh, Look Designer gives you much better option how to test your looks, you know, because there is a, basically an option to just to display saturation ramp, right? So I can then tell, hey, how clean this is. Look, my saturation ramp is looking great. I can then do my lightness ramp. You know, this is also looking good, right? And I can do a tone map and I can see, hey, let me see. How is my tone map looking and where my, you know, neutral gray sits? So actually, you know, I have a much also better control how to test and make sure that none of those, you know, funny surprises is happening. And on top of that, if I was to have problems with more any of those kind of blue lights and anything that's a little bit, you know, out of gamut, there is a setting here called gamut limit where I can go and get and limit any of the colors that potentially, you know, would be giving me uh, problems. So. Hope you like this tutorial um, if you like what you're seeing subscribe uh, to this channel because we're going to be bringing more amazing tips soon